Today, the agency is recommending the elimination of time-based deferrals for certain populations at increased risk for HIV transmission. Instead, the agency recommends assessing donor eligibility using gender-inclusive individual risk-based questions relevant to HIV risk. The new approach proposes that the current donor history questionnaire be revised to ask all prospective donors, regardless of their gender, about new or multiple sexual partners in the past three months. All prospective donors, regardless of their gender identifications, who report having a new partner or more than one partner and anal sex in the past three months would be deferred from donation. We believe that there will be no change to risk in the blood supply in terms of HIV, hepatitis B, or hepatitis C. We are moving now to an inclusive policy for blood donation that's as inclusive as it can be. It puts us in line um, with uh, the other countries uh, in the world that have moved to um, uh, the most inclusive uh, policies that uh, could be supported by the available science.